happy Monday. Let's go ahead and fill out our number of the day chart. I am going to reach into the bag and find a number. Miss Smith is here, but I've got her working on something else right now, so we'll see her in just a little bit. This is the number that we picked out. Do you know what number it is? Can you show me this number on your fingers? It's number four. One, two, three, four. So when we fill out our number of the day chart, what number are we going to put on our number of the day chart? Yeah, number four. So let's get started. If you have a marker or if you have a pencil and paper, you can write the number of the day on your paper. So let's start at the very top. I'm going to write the number four. I'm gonna start at the top, down, across and down once more. That's how we make a four. That's right. When Miss Hamilton says the word f -f -f four, what sound do you hear first? F -f -f four. <gasps> yeah. What letter makes the f, -f, -f sound? F. F. The word four starts with F. O U R. How many counters do I need to put on my 10 frame today, friends? How do you know? Because our number of the day is four, I'm going to put four counters on the 10 frame. Are you ready to help me count? One, two, three, four. Perfect. How many more do I need to fill up the top row? Yeah, one more would make my top row full. What's next, friends? Tally marks. How many tally marks are gonna, am I going to put on there? One, two, three, four. Easy peasy. How many pictures do I need to draw? You got it. Four. Let's draw four rectangles. Remember, rectangles have two long and two short sides. Two rectangles, three rectangles, four rectangles. Now I need to find the number four. This one's easy peasy. Number four is right there. It comes right next to the three. We're going to do four jumps so you can get your hand ready. Or you know what? You could even stand up and hop like a rabbit when we do our jumps. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Awesome. I'm going to circle that number four because that's where we landed. We landed on number four. Let's do some number bonds with our number four. It's been a while since we've looked at this board. I'm going to write the number four in this box right here because that's the number that we're talking about. And we're going to see different ways that we can make number four. So I'm going to put some counters on. And let's look at how we can make number four. How many counters did I put in the top box? Yeah, I put four. Did you count them? One, two, three, four. So let's write four right here. How many counters did I put in the bottom box? There's not any. Zero. Four and zero gives us four. Four plus zero equals four. Let's try another one. How many counters are at the top? Or how many red counters are there? Count them. One, two, three. How many counters are in the bottom box? Or how many blue counters are there? Just one. Can you see my math sentence? Three plus one equals four. Three red. 
plus one blue equals four counters. Let's do one more, friends. How many counters are at the top? Two. How many counters are in the bottom box? Two. How many counters does Ms. Hamilton have all together on my board? One, two, three, four. I have four counters. Do you know what that means? Two plus two equals four. Now, there is another way you can make four. I want you to think about it in your head and see if you can write it on your paper. Another way to make four. I could mix them up. We could make four this way. We could make four this way. 